Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad Designer Showcase. So let's get cracking. Friends, right now we are at my hlmodtech.com website. This is my Tinkercad tab, and I just want to make sure you know, out here on this pink button is the Designer Showcase. All my new showcases will appear up here at the top. If you slide down, we've got the original ones, and then I've now created a section at the bottom where we've got some of the earlier episodes. So hopefully we have an easy way to get to them all on the website, although you can also use the playlist on YouTube. Today, friends, before I start the showcase, I want to talk to you a little bit about Tinkercad. When you first sign up, if you look up here on your right, this is your profile picture. I have obviously updated this by adding one, but right now I'm going to click on my profile and I'm going to show you how these work and I'm going to show you how they can benefit you as well. So I've got my screen name, I've got an email that I put in, and then you can fill in this box with all kinds of information, including your socials and things like that. Note that your email is used as a login, but it's not shown to others. So the way this becomes cool is if you start sharing your designs. So I made this beetle table. Right now, if we click its properties, it says beetle tables. I could have a description, I could have tags, but see it's private. If I switch it to public, I can share it with the world and I can just let them use it, but they're supposed to share as well. I could also use Creative Commons. I could say they could be for non-commercial. I can also say no derivatives or non-commercial no derivatives. I do not care if anybody messes with this, so I'm going to put the share alike. And then when I hit save changes, I've got a student account I use called Kid Harmon or Mod Tech Middle School. If I go over to the search and I want to find me, if I hit people and I type HL Mod Tech, notice bam, there is my profile. And this is what a profile looks like for another user. So here you can see all the information that I shared about how you can find me. You can see all the designs and if you look at the very bottom, there will be the latest design that I shared. That's how cool a profile is. And then also when you click in somebody's profile, you can click on their designs and say, hey, that's pretty awesome and leave them some cool comments, which is a cool way to interact with the Tinkercad community. If you haven't completed your profile picture, notice all you do is click on profile, and then this is where you can choose a file to be your profile picture. Alrighty friends, so it's time for today's designer showcases. Friends, these are three awesome designers. These are designers that are newer to Tinkercad and then they did cool projects. And just like I've mentioned to you guys, they reached out and shared their projects. So this is a awesome pool party created by a user in my eighth grade. Her name is Hetsy. And what is so cool is she took my spaceship project and turned it into a swimming pool. She's got transparent water in here. You'll notice that she turned on transparency. Normally it looks like that, which in Michigan is super funny because that's what it looks like when it's frozen. But when you turn on transparency, it looks like there's water. She's got the cool little pool rings, all the little people. And she even added the mask to Astrobot, which is just amazing. Now, a lot of times I've shown you other users' profiles these users haven't created profiles yet because they're just beginning and having fun and taking time to share which absolutely makes my day the second user i'd like to showcase is steve steve is awesome as well because he's reached out from the internet he is not a student in my class but he is asking me questions and creating cool designs and sharing with me all the time this is an amazing little cannon that he created notice he's got the cannonball leaving it and he's got this awesome little dude called Beanie that he's been sharing in all his projects. I will let you know that Steve is also the gentleman that created the awesome submarine that I then copied and turned into the project you guys saw. The last designer I'd like to showcase is Claire. Claire has created this amazing little cow. And what she has done is worked so that it can actually be a two-color print. And we printed it on the MakerBot. Real quickly, I'm gonna break this design apart so that you guys can see it. If I do Control D and move this across, notice that is just the body, watch this. If I do Control D and move the black pieces across, all those black pieces were inside and we made them separate so that way it could end up being the two colors. Now what's even crazier, and I'm just gonna move this this way so you can see it, 
If we ungroup this, check out what she built. Ungroup, ungroup. So notice there's a sphere inside that eliminates the extra black, so there's less printing in there. And then it really starts to get bonkers when we ungroup these. She has made a cube that cuts off the square scribble pieces and makes them round. I'm going to just bring this across so you can see it a little better. Notice she's got the same size belly inside this cube, and it cuts all this stuff so that it ends up round. I'm going to ungroup a few more of those. Notice she did it more than once. So she just reused this cube sphere to cut the little black pieces so they fit the round body. This is a crazy awesome way to take all the square shapes in Tinkercad and end up with a cool round one that actually works when you 3D print it. So I just want to end by saying thanks for taking the time to share. All three of you designers are doing an amazing job. I love your creativity, and the fact that you took time to share is awesome. Friends, if you're out there and you make something awesome, remember you can always find me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also find me at HL Tinkercad on Twitter. And of course, last but not least, if you visit hlmodtech.com, you can always use the messaging to send me your name and email, and then don't forget you've got to send me a share link. The only way I can share your project, if you copy this up here, it won't work. The only way I can get in and do the cool things is if you generate a link, copy that collaboration link, and ship it to me. So my friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.